All right, we got our we got our boiler going here. We're in my garage. I have both doors open. Door open over there. Um, got the propane burner, and you can see we're rolling. I did scoop off some of the the hot break, which is a lot of the proteins that kind of foam up. Still kind of see them in there. Eventually, they'll they'll go down to the bottom. Uh, but I like to skim off some from the top. Uh, when it's coming up to temperature just so that you don't have a, a lot of that protein uh, sinking to the bottom and getting all stuck in there. Um, so for this recipe we have just one ounce of uh, hops, Willamette hops, and they go in at 60 minutes so I just got it to a boil so you want to do this fairly slowly just a little bit at a time because the hops will cause it to to boil up a little bit so you want to take your time and just get them all in there it smells awesome sorry about the uh, the fog on the lens and that's it so you got a nice rolling boil going. We'll set our timer for about 60 minutes. And when we're all done, I'll show you the next, uh, well, I'll, sh I'll show you the next step. At about 15 minutes, I gotta put in uh, uh, the whorl flock, which will help any of the proteins that are still in there bind together and, and sink to the bottom when it's in the, uh, when it's in the uh, cooling phase. And also in the fermentation, It'll, everything will sink to the bottom. We get a little more clearer uh, beer, and you won't have a lot of that haze. Um, and also, in 15 minute, at the last 15 minutes of the boil, I'll also put in my my wort chiller um, to to boil, so that you can sanitize that. And that's it.